Okay, it's Tuesday morning. We've just been in the car for about two hours driving down the coast. We actually drove out to the coast and then drove down the coast. And we're gonna go visit the beach and some tide pools. This is called, I forget the name of it, but it's an outstanding nature area. So we figured if we're gonna go to a nature area, it might as well be an outstanding one. It is incredibly misty and cloudy and overcast. Uh, it's also really chilly out here. We want to go to tide pools so Brendan can explore and find sea creatures in the water. Um, I think we can do that here. Anyway, there's this whole area up and down the coast. There's all kinds of stuff to do. So we're going to go out and explore that stuff today. Unfortunately, because of the weather, it might be a tad on the miserable side, but we'll see. Um, I don't have sneakers. All I have is flip-flops, so my feet are going to be absolutely freezing. Yay! All right, so right here, there's a thing called the Devil's Punch Bowl which is, I guess, where the tide comes in and it swirls around in a in a cove or something. I'm walking over there right now. We're not gonna stay here because um, we're gonna go down and find the tide pools, but let's see. So I guess that's it. So I guess when the tide comes in, I suppose it comes all the way up here and washes all over these rocks. The tide's out right now, it's, at, it's low tide. So we're just over here and we're gonna go find tide pools somewhere else. <laughs> you ready to go see tide pools, bub? Little water shoes. Brendan, look what's growing there. Blackberries. Blackberries. <laughs> yummy. I already smell the ocean. It's so strong smelling. My feet are not dressed for early morning Oregon weather. They are cold. Somebody built a little shelter. That's cool. It is very misty and foggy out here, but there's probably, hopefully, all kinds of awesome sea life we can explore. What is that? It's a bigger crab. A bigger crab. Look at him. Look, underneath the rock. That, that's a that's a regular one, Yeah, oh, yeah. There's regular. Oh, it's all opened yeah. up because it's, it's opened up because it's covered with water. Yeah, so yeah, pretty. These are closed up because there's no water. Oh, right. that's what happened. Oh, yeah. These are closed. And then they're waiting for the tide to come back in, I guess. Look! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, ah! Stepping in the water. Look at all these mussels, Brendan. They, they mush up together. Are they, these? Uh, they those mush are, up. They mush up? Look at that, Mom. Huh? Well, I have to make him a stump. He does have a stump leg. You're right. What does he have? More. Look at it. Walking towards the Devil's Punch Bowl, this is actually what I shot from up above because I was up there and shot down here. Now we've gone further down the coast and walked back. comes in, I guess probably from both directions around the rocks and sloshes around in here. And this is the Devil's Cauldron. We're in the cauldron right now. Punch bowl. Punch bowl. Punch bowl. Devil's punch bowl. So this is the Devil's Punch Bowl. And <laughs> the, the tide, I guess, comes in from both. Take a picture. 
drop this lip kit. Well, look, just a chiton. Can picture that. And here's the great big enemy. What is that, bud? It's a bigger crab. I look like it's a big tie. It is a big crab in there. What is that? A goby. A little goby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this. No, I'm going to cut my hand. It's a goby. Ah, it's a fish. I got him. I'm going to put it in the water. Let's put him in the water. Put him in the water right no. here. Right here. Put, put him right the there in the tide pool. You can still see him. So he can live. Put him right at where it's deep. Then you can still see him. You can still see him. He can't breathe. He can't. What if so he won't? There, there we go. He, he doesn't like to be in here. No, he no, does, honey. Fish have to be in water. I think that's a hermit crab. Yes, you're right. Very good. All right, this is just a wall of anemones. This entire wall is covered in anemones. Hundreds of them. There's a roof of mussels and barnacles. Oh, ah! Oh my gosh, this is pure mussel. This is pure mussels. <laughs> Oh gosh. It's oh my gosh, this entire thing is all mussels. There's like hundreds of thousands of them. Before you could walk much further out here and now the tide's just coming all up in here. <laughs> <laughs> run away, run away. Did yeah. you save another fish? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty I good. tried to put him in the water. <laughs> Super cold, Kevin just gave me his jacket. My feet are frozen because I have no sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't have, it doesn't matter if these shoes get wet, so I don't have wet socks like some people. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the coolest thing about the beaches here, or this beach anyway, is that you're at the beach and then on the way to and from the beach is sort of a whole different ecosystem, like a, a rainforest, um, a temperate rainforest, which is definitely interesting because like all the beaches that I've been to are more you, like you would think of the desert island type beach. But here you have like a whole rainforest. There's a lighthouse here through the mist. This is our second stop. Hey! <laughs> I'm carrying him like this because his shoes are completely filthy. And I don't, if I carry him the other way, then they're gonna rub all over me. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be carried like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> So apparently for the eclipse yesterday, this place was completely clear, just like it was where we were in, in Salem. And now it's so foggy you can't even see, I mean, you can barely see the beach from the shore. I mean, you can barely see this lighthouse that's 50 yards away. Look, lighthouse. lighthouse. Like, it's right there and it's half obscured. There's the beach and the ocean and you can barely see it. And yet yesterday you could see an entire eclipse up in this, yeah. what's this now, a gray, gray sky. Lighthouse. <laughs> As I said, it's an outstanding natural area. We're cold, yeah, it's a little cold here today. And there's the big lighthouse. <coughs> Krista, what? you're in luck. What? Start your sure? very own telescope business. <laughs> well, We're not sponsored by the tel telescope business. <laughs> Way down there. <laughs> Look out at the colorful rock islands and rocky outcrops along Cobble Beach. So big, bright, fresh <laughs> colors there. And then, so yeah, look out and see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A cobblestone beach. Woo. You wanna go back? Well, there's just lots of cobblestones like this instead of sand, which is kind of cool looking but it's very uneven and they tend to slide a lot when you're walking on them. So it's uh, not easy to walk. Oh! Oh, it's, it's okay. Here, let me fix your shoe. What's sticky? Oh. See it? Oh. Two of them! <laughs> what is that, bud? Two crabs! Two crabs! I'll touch his back. 
Ah, it's sticking to me! It's sticking! Oh, look, he's on top of the rock. And there's seals that are really close. They're just like, I don't know, 10 yards offshore or something. One came super close. We thought he might actually try to come up on the beach, but then he went further back. I think maybe they're out there just waiting for us all to leave so they can come up and flop up here on the shore. What are you doing with that crab, bud? I'm putting him with his friend. You're gonna put him, oh, I got you, you're okay. You gonna go put him back with his friend? Yeah. Look. <gasps> oh my <laughs> goodness, a <laughs> giant slug. You like him? Yeah. Yeah. He's going, he's going up again. Oh, he's turning yeah. around. He's oh yeah. Looking down and saying, "Oh, no food down there." Oh, there's a seal right down here. Oh yeah, hi seal. <laughs> if we weren't looking at a whale, we'd be more interested in you. See that spoon thing? Look, see right there? Yeah, there he is. Did you see it? I saw it. Look, look, look. He blew the water out. Did you see it? Yeah, see, I see his body. There he is. There he is. Look how big he is. Oh, put your tail up, put your tail up. Flip your tail. I saw a little too. He spooned up again. Keep watching. Don't forget. Don't stop looking. Don't look down. Oh, look at his tail. Where Grandma is. Oh, they're spouting again. He's swimming away. Ooh. Oh, look at him. It says yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. You see flip your tail, flip your tail, flip your tail. He's not, he's not a tail flipper, I guess. No. Although he did wave to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, Woo! So my mom and Joseph and me brought Brendan down to this little outlooky area here behind me uh, because there's supposed to be good seal watching here. So unfortunately we only saw maybe two seals and they weren't very close and the seal watching was kind of a bust, but we saw whales instead. We believe they are gray whales. We'd read earlier that um, gray whales tend to breach and be around here this time of year. So we saw whales. Yay! So in a 24 hour period, we saw a total solar eclipse and whales. We are back in Salem and we are exhausted. We got very little sleep last night. We did a lot of driving today. We saw a lot of fun stuff today. Um, but now it is time to sign off and check out and relax. So that's it. We will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.